Well, somebody's trying to show you that they are a well-balanced person this week. Hey Taurus, it's Teresa with your Indigo Path bringing you another video in our great series of Can They Be Trusted? This is for our lovely Taurus sign, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, possibly your Venus. Guys, these are general readings for December 11th of 2016. There's five cards, short, sweet, to the point. They're either gonna resonate or they're not. Please, if you're looking for additional information or would like a private reading, check the links below or go to your indigopath.com. And I do work with Cindy and we do appreciate it when you like, share, and subscribe to our videos. And we really appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to check our videos out. That's awesomeness on your part, so thank you so much. And shout out to our sponsor, Star Ackerman, IK Multimedia. They do provide the iRig mic lob and ta-da, the newest, latest, greatest, the, mo the new improved iClip Grip Pro. This is fabulous. That's what I'm using right now to do this video. It's holding my iPhone in place. I love it. It's like a selfie stick, a camera stand. It's everything all in one. And it, I thought the original was fabulous. This one's even better. So give them a... Give them a whirl, check them out, ikmultimedia.com. All right, Taurus, look, check it out. You have got a page of swords coming back to play with you this week. They are presenting as balanced. They are a page, don't forget, page warning, page warning, warning, you're dealing with a page. Probably an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Libra. No, more than likely, that's who, who we're talking about here. So they're coming back because they like you. And they just want to be with you. But they do like you. What you need to know is we're dealing with a Seven of Swords situation. So they're going to come in and they're probably going to do wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and sneak off in the night. That's probably the truth. They're going to sneak off in the night because they are a sword, they're an air sign, and they are busy. Now, next question. Can you trust this person, yes or no? Well, actually, look at this. Now we're talking about a page showing up as a knight of wands. Fiery, earthy, passionate. You know, they're going to ride that bad pony and they're going to get, they're going to get the hell out of Dodge. See, they're running away over here, so no, no. See it for what it is, Taurians. It's a hookup. Pretty good one, but it's a hookup. So anyway, don't trust them because it is only a hookup. And they are a page trying to be a knight. If you trust them, that leaves you with the three of coins in reverse. That means um, I don't want to tell you this. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And then you're you're like right back to status quo. You got to go back to work. You got to like, like, did that really happen? Wow. Wow. Wait a minute. Did that really happen? Yeah, it did. But now you got to get your, go back to your real, the reality world. So don't trust them because they will throw your reality upside down. They will throw your mental focus off all the way around home, work, everything. Spirit's advice to you is Ten of Cups in Reverse. It's not the happily ever after. It's a hook up with a page who's going to come in. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Leave you in the middle of the night. And they're trying to fake you out and show you I'm a Knight of Wands. But they're not because they are going to turn your house topsy-turvy. They're going to mess with your mind. A little internal mess with your career. You know, you just you can't let it go. So it was, you'll just be constantly pondering what if, what if, what if. So, Taurus, enjoy your page this week. See them as a page. Have a good time with them. There's nothing wrong with getting naked under the sheets. Go for it if that's what you want to do. It is your choice. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.